Hey, Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzan on MetabolicMasterpiece.com here with some incredible footage of a killer chest, shoulder, and tricep workout that I do with my fellow bro and co-host and the Modern Muscle Head podcast, Brian Cron, as well as my fellow lightweight natural bodybuilder, Adam Wilkes, and Jay Cook, my regular workout partner. Enjoy this footage. What kind of weight you using, big man? Uh, go a little much heavier. Yeah? I'll see you around 60. 60? So you can do 70. Don't you worry about me. Five seconds is gonna come real fast, brother. Three reps here. Oh, yes, sir. So there we had Adam and Jay kicking us off with some myo reps on the dumbbell chest press. So we're selecting a weight that you can perform 12 reps on the initial activation set and then three reps for every myo set afterwards. Now I've been telling Brian about these myo reps for a while. I've been talking about it a lot on the Modern Muscle Head podcast that we run together. And we even had the creator, Borg Fagurli, uh, on as a guest to explain the science behind myo reps and why they're so effective. It's just an incredible pump. Um, I've had them in multiple places throughout a workout, like I've used them as a finisher, um, and this time we're using them as a way to really enhance that mind-muscle connection with the pecs and give them a great pump um, to kick off the workout. It's nice because you're not diving into the heavy weight right away. Um, it's all about the pump. And uh, Brian was enjoying it. it was, he was a little hesitant at first. He, he wasn't too keen starting off with them, uh, but I think it, it really grew on him. And one thing that um, I kind of learned from him while training together with him this past week is um, he recommended, he thought it'd be great to just kind of like do two sets of dumbbell chest press, like 12 to 15 reps at first, just to kind of get a feel for the movement and then dive into the myo rep sets here. Um, but nonetheless, uh, it's something he's definitely going to be working into his programming uh, more often now that he's actually experienced them. Uh, the fatigue was kicking in pretty quick for him here. Um, but I think he was also he was only supposed to do three reps and he was cranking out five. So um, he burnt out a little bit faster. Next time he'll do 12-3-3. Or 15, 5, 5, 5. <laughs> I kept going here for a little bit. So I'm used to the weight selection and the uh, and the, the pace. So it's been three weeks into the program. So Brian just finished his set, and he's given some guidance to Adam here. Again, with this, we both perform a little bit different. Um, he was encouraging Adam to puff that chest up there. See those veins. Which one's the one that's inside huge, my head that are yeah, first? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> huge pump, huge pump here. Like I said, Adam's a fellow lightweight natural bodybuilder. He's going to be competing again at the end of October. Right now, I believe he's weighing around 140 pounds. When he competed last October, I think he's in the low 130s. <laughs> So it'll be interesting to see the size that he's put on um, in the year between the two shows. And here we got Jay pumping it out. Great form, great control. Could go a little bit slower there. Look at those calves. <laughs> awesome calves. It's great to have him and Brian there, both with some really great calves and inspiration for me to step things up here. 
we were just flying through this uh, with the four of us training together. You'd think, I always thought three people would be too much. And then you add in another one, a fourth, and um, it surprised me. We just kept that pace really going. Um, by the time it's your turn to hit it, by the time the per people finish it, you're, the rest has definitely been more than enough. And um, we're just right on time, I'd say. Um, it just worked out perfect with us. Really kept the, the pace going. See, and just like great you know, camaraderie all the way through. And uh, just great bouncing ideas off of Brian, just technique. And um, we'll see here as we move on to shoulders and triceps how a few little techniques that I picked up from Brian as well. Really happy with the details I'm seeing in the shoulders and arms and triceps there. Um, really stoked. After this, we went downstairs and uh, did some posing together, Brian and, and Adam and myself. I'm going to have that in an upcoming video. Uh, really happy with the progress that we both made. And uh, Brian, is, Brian is just freaking shredded. Uh, more shredded than I was expecting him to be when he arrived here. He was really playing it down leading up to uh, this event here, telling me that I need to ease off the, the cut and, and just uh, kind of maintain what I have and, and he was telling me that he was all fat and stuff but uh, he's playing head games with me there. Dude is freaking shredded and vascular as hell. Here we're doing some uh, intraset drop set, intraset stretch drop sets so aiming for 15 reps. Notice how my arms are nice and pretty much straight. I'm not bringing the hands together. I'm just squeezing my upper arms against the pecs there. Really make sure I get maximum contraction in those pecs. And then I'm going to hold this stretch for so as long as I can here. I like the feel of this. My shoulder. So let's say in there, we tried dumbbells a, a couple weeks ago and um, felt a little bit more of a shoulder burn. This is more focused pec stretch here. Felt awesome, it was great uh, introducing this to Brian as well. He was enjoying it. So after chest, we moved on to shoulders. So Adam's got some pretty darn good details here. Um, it's not gonna, he'll be able to dial things in for that contest with relative ease. So just tell him, no, less balance in there, really focus. Uh, that was a super set between the Bradford press. I got Brian doing some bent over raisins, raises here. Nice focus. That was lightweight. He's only got 12 pounds there. That's the one thing I was really impressed with, Brian. Not afraid to um, check the ego at the door and just really work on form. Here we're doing some myo reps. So 12-3-3-3 uh, three, three, three is what we're aiming for here as well. And look at his control. A little pause. So he got me to shorten up that range of motion. I was going uh, too low and... Uh, just the resistance it was easy it was effortless in the bottom portion he said shorten up that range and just keep all the tension on the rear delts he's got some nice upright rows here with the rope lots of detail in those shoulders his rear delts are awesome so one of the things i picked up from him is he hits rear delts every single workout pretty much um, but he just picks one exercise and he usually goes at it with an all-out effort just burning it right out and it shows his rear delts are just busting out of his sleeves there after shoulders, we moved on to triceps. Yes, exactly. So Brian was explaining that I mean triceps respond well to like heavier loads, but they also um, respond really well to the big stretch here. So it's kind of trying to find that sweet spot between the heavy, challenging weight and making sure that you can get that good stretch and full range of motion. Now, really notice how Brian is pausing at the bottom there and squeezing at the top. Another big takeaway from training with him is he just tried to take all the momentum out of it, keep that constant tension on those muscles. And again, that requires lighter loads. Now, Brian is going to be 42 this upcoming week. Uh, I'm going to be 40 this year. So as we're aging, we're just training a hell of a lot smarter. And when you use techniques like this with nice controlled tempos, little pauses here and there, uh, myo reps, um, all those different kind of techniques. Uh, it allows you to get an incredible pump and burn uh, and really exhaust those muscles, fatigue those muscles, cause a lot of metabolic stress and damage uh, with lighter loads. And that makes it a lot easier on the joints. It just places all the tension and focus on your target muscle. 
So here Brian is. I mean, Brian's weighing in. He arrived at 193. I think he hit. Or he was above 200 by the time he left, and all the eating we did. But I mean, he was lifting weights sometimes that were lighter than what we were using, and it got me to really again check my ego at the door, drop the weight a little bit more, and just really focus on my form and the quality of every single rep that I perform. So here we got a superset between tricep press downs and some cable kickbacks. Uh, they're making fun of my calves right now. <laughs> Again, we're gonna we're gonna see those calves blow up this year. Listen, when the back of your triceps bigger than your calves, there's nothing wrong with that. Again, I'm really happy with the detail I'm seeing in my arms here. My long head of the tricep, sorry, lateral head of the tricep, really busting out there. It's pretty cool from that view. Oh, this sucks now. This was killer, and that was, that was great. I loved it. If you followed the work, the leg workout we did the other day, it's all, Brian, it was all about disgusting sets and really getting to that point where it just really, really sucks. And you'll hear him. He, I really love it. He's like, comments to himself there they just he'll, he'll count down his reps he'll say now it sucks now it's getting disgusting and now i just keep pushing through it it's all about that that effort um and really stepping outside of your comfort zone and keep pushing as long as the form is quality see there he goes now it sucks and look at he slows it down even more so it sucks and he controls it even more and just works through it freaking love the detail in Brian's physique just so much fun to finally get a chance to train with him and swap ideas <laughs> and so I was teaching him some of the techniques that I use he's teaching me some of the techniques that uh, that he uses and just just I got a lot of fun the camaraderie today was freaking awesome in this workout it just got me to elevate my game once again and here we got another, it's supposed to be an intraset stretch drop set. Uh, and Brian forgot the stretch at the end. Too much oxygen being used up and blood being used up by those guns of his. So left the brain, forgot the stretch, but still got in a killer set here. And uh, we were talking a lot about technique on this movement, where you're bringing the bar down. Uh, I know Brian and Rick really enjoy bringing it right back behind the head, getting that great stretch in there. It is definitely more challenging at that point. Uh, occasionally, I'll bring it to the top of my forehead. Um, and even you may see at the uh, towards the end of a cell, I'll bring it right up towards my eyes, but uh, nothing like the stretch that they are getting here. Hope you enjoyed this footage. I'm going to have some more footage from our back and bicep workout coming up next. Uh, another big burn big pump and if you missed the leg workout go back and check it out in the previous video hope this inspires you to get yourself shredded as well what are you using that you didn't hold the stretch hold the stretch